I can't believe you just jumped on the bike with the dog. And that's, of course, not how you can go about doing it. You want to go for a ride? Go on, go for a ride. If he wants to go for a ride, he'll run right up to the motorcycle and hop on. Let's go for a ride, huh? He can throw on the goggles, he can throw on the helmet, and he's ready to go. We just passed 75,000 miles now. I always said I was going to move to Hawaii. I didn't have a job, or a car, or a house even. That's a really scary idea. Fortunately, I had a very loving companion to help kind of ease the transition. And they gave a lot of confidence. I got a motorcycle, They're like, well, this is all I can afford. We okay. gotta figure out a way that I can still include socks in everything I do. There's a big giant smile on his face. To get him comfortable with just sitting there, I would actually just shift the weight of the bike. I'd roll the bike up and down my driveway. Tons of little building blocks like that. It was four months of constant practice every single day before we actually started driving around the neighborhood. We were driving around in Hawaii for five years, but it had just forever been my bucket list to see all 50 states. So we ended up doing a trip all the way down south, going through Southern California, Arizona, New Mexico. It was like, I have to do this in my life. It's going to be such an incredible thing. Sucks! Wait, Sox, is that the ocean? Is that the ocean? Are you so excited about the ocean? <laughs> sure. That is an everyday occurrence. In the desert in Nevada, areas where there's no vehicles of any kind and stuff, I'm like, okay, I'll let you be a husky and do all the running that you want to do. Let your dog go for a run in the wild, and this is how you bring him back. <laughs> Finally, I could see this tiny little white dot on the horizon line. Oh, puppy dog! Come on, buddy, let's go for a ride! Come on, let's go for a ride! Yeah, bud! High five! High five! Yeah! We've done 35 total states now, 26 national parks. In Big Bend National Park, a deer ran out right in front of us. I actually had a camera on Sox's helmet. When I looked at the video, you could see that he watched the deer come into view, he watched it run away, he double checked on it as we were driving away, he was actually taking it in. I know I'm sharing this experience with him, but when I actually see he was looking at the same things I was looking at, that makes it special. started as a typical friendship evolved into something far from ordinary. I promised to myself to live my dreams, and I promised to Socks that he would be a part of all of them. Together this one crazy idea has unfolded into the adventure of a lifetime, a bucket list for two.